Yeah. No, we, we called her. Yeah, she doesn't, she apparently doesn't have a phone. Um, she gave us a fax number. Yeah. Yeah, she only has a fax machine, apparently. No. Um, yeah, no, she wasn't at the meet point. Yeah, it's almost 2 o'clock. Um, we're going to have to... Uh... Oh, shit. Tabby. You got it. Tabby, get out of the fountain. You got to get out of the fountain now. Tabby, you can't, you can't be in this. This is for decoration on campus. Decoration? No. No, it's not. You got to get out now. No. Why are you in the fountain? No, I don't really Why are you in the fountain? I know, but this isn't for hydration, it's for dec get out now. It's a body of water. We'll get you some water or something. Just get out, get out. Fine. Curious since birth, I always wanted to see planet Earth. With luck and my surprise, got into Earthling College after several denies. To be far away from home. A whole new planet that I can roam I'm ready for a big new change This way of life will be rearranged So I packed up my bags, boarded the ship Left planet Zocor It was a crazy long trip But eight months later, in light years away I'm here in college Look out, Earth here I come I'm walking through life To the beat of my own drum There's so much to see And so much to do My name is Tabby And I'm your basic average Purple amphibious extraterrestrial girl Oh, oh, oh. My first week on Earth has been challenging. When the United Nations first reached out to Zocor looking for volunteers for its Intergalactic Bridging Disciplines Plan 2 program, I was referred to this educational institution for its excellent accommodations for amphibious students. So they say. Yeah, get out of the... Okay, okay, the police are coming. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's this go. school has several incredible hydration facilities, but almost all of them are prohibited for reasons that no one has yet explained to me. This has become extremely problematic. So I haven't been able to wet my skin in about six hours. I don't know, I'm getting a little worried about it, but it's okay. Oh my God, is that water? I've really tried to dive into the culinary culture here as well. But so far, I just, I haven't been impressed. So a fellow classmate of mine told me that if I was having a difficult time keeping food down, that I should try something more subtle of flavor. Um, he recommended rice. Um, shouldn't be too hard. Two cups water to one cup rice. Right. Let's just say I've had to make my own accommodations, which is fine. Maybe I'm a bit too difficult. I guess I didn't realize it would be so toilsome finding food fit for an amphibious diet. Oh my god, there's like 12 down here. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, this one's so fat. This week has been incredibly taxing, but I endured, and that's something to be really proud of. Despite all of Earth's shortcomings, I still find it to be a place of great beauty and wonder. I guess I realized at some point that I just wasn't physically prepared for life on Earth. Or maybe Earth 
just wasn't physically prepared for me. Oh, now I need to go heat these up. Excuse me.